Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian, and thanks very much for joining us on our latest episode of the Cyber Report, sponsored by Northrop Grumman. And joining us now is Greg Potter, retired United States Army Major General, who uh, was the former Director of Signals Intelligence at the National Security Agency, now Northrop Grumman's uh, corporate lead executive for Fort Meade, as well as Aberdeen Proving Ground. Fort Meade, obviously home of the National Security Agency as well as U.S. Cyber Command. Greg, welcome to the program. Uh, thanks for having me, Vago. It's great uh, to be here. Well, let's talk a little bit about cyber survivability when it comes to weapon systems because that is one of the priorities both for lawmakers as well as military leaders. Yeah, absolutely. So in 2016, the National Defense Authorization Act directed the services to make sure that their weapon systems and mission systems were survivable uh, against an attack. And so there's a big effort undergoing now across the services to understand where they're vulnerable and then correct those vulnerabilities. And, and well, what's the nature of the challenge? Because I was talking to an Israeli admiral who told me that, hey, we don't do as many live fires as we'd like. And given the pernicious nature of cyber intrusions, you're, you can never be quite sure why that weapon failed until it might be too late. How, what's the right way to think about it, given that we have weapons that are in the inventory that are more than 20 years old? Yeah, I think, I think you have two things there. One is, you need to design up front and make sure those weapons can survive uh, a cyber attack and act as, as intended. The other is, and, the, and to me the bigger challenge, is going back and making sure all those legacy systems that are already in the field can also survive uh, a cyber uh, But, But how do you do this when you have uh, magazines full of older systems, some of which are in languages that are not exactly as current as uh, we'd like them to be? Yeah, so I think you got you got two challenges, uh, Vago. One is you need to design, you know, for new weapon systems, design cybersecurity and cyber survivability up front as you're designing. You got to go back. The harder challenge is going back and making sure legacy systems are uh, up to speed and can survive a, a cyber adversary attack. And so there's uh, a new concept, or it's, it's best practice in the uh, commercial world, called DevSecOps, which is the SEC being secure uh, software development, so uh, devi devising and designing software so it's secure and can operate as intended. And uh, operates either, either as an applique or entirely replaces the coding that is in that system to ensure security. That's correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Greg Potter, retired United States uh, Army Major General, who is now a corporate lead executive at Northrop Grumman. Sir, thanks very much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. It's great to be here.